My name is Amy Mozzie and I'm with Centurion Boats and today I'm going to walk you through the all new 2024 FI 23. This 23 foot Centurion is fearlessly innovated and I'm going to show you why. So you know a Centurion FI right at the bow. This wide bow Centurion has a distinct look. We talk about it being sleek and sharp looking, and you can see it here. The bow is definitely distinguished, and you've also got a couple optional docking lights on this bow that total um, 4,800 lumens a side. They are bright, to say the least, and you can tell this FI is coming at you from a mile away. So new for 2024, available as an option on the FI series is this vented windshield. This windshield not only has a wonderful look that totally complements the FI style lines, it also has colorable A-pillars. Yes, you've got 18 different color choices of the A-pillar, which is this section of the windshield here, and you can make this look as custom as the rest of the boat. As we progress further down the profile of the FI-23, we come to the ram fill vent. Now, the ram fill is an option on the FI-23, but we're gonna talk a little bit about this vent. So new for 2024, you can choose between 18 different colors for this vent as an option. So this is the standard black vent, obviously here, but you can choose between 17 more color choices for this particular vent. And if you choose to get a bombshell 2.0 rack on your Roswell Tower, you can even choose colors for that. Yes, 18 different color choices. We're a custom boat manufacturer. This is what we do. As we move further down the side of the Centurion FI-23, and yes, we're still going, this is a really long 23-foot Centurion, uh, you start to see some other um, interesting stops that we need to make here. We've got a dual fuel fill. What this means is I've got a fuel fill on both sides of the boat. So no matter what side your tow vehicle fills on, we can accommodate you at the gas station. You've also got a pullout cleat, which is standard. You've got six of them on an FI-23, and they're great for tying off to the dock. A new option for this year on all Centurion models is this bumper cleat. And what it is, is four different cleats that are mounted just like this in the deck of the boat. And they go with these bumpers. So I can actually plug it in. It's already set up with a branded little rope and a bumper, a big one, as you can see. So this is gonna protect your boat and it allows you to get to it really quickly and easily. And when you're done docking, you can actually take it off and there's a special spot to store it inside the boat. So you always know where they are and they're always out of the way, but very, very accessible. So far, we've talked about the look of the boat, the style, how the aggressive lines are complemented, how it's a custom built boat, so you can color it any way you want. We've talked about some of the functional options that we're offering this year, but we haven't gotten into performance yet. This is where we do. We're gonna talk about the OptiV hull that is under the FI-23. This hull is made to annihilate rough water, give you a smooth, smooth ride, also giving you a very symmetrical wakeboard wake, as well as a symmetrical surf wave from the goofy to the regular side. It does that with balance. And there are two triangular pads that are on either rear corner of this running surface that give it balance because this is a modified deep V. What that means is there's a big V that runs the center of this boat, and that's gonna give you that great rough water ride, but sometimes it can make it sensitive to that side to side weight shift where 
The boat can lean one way, wash the wake on one side, lean the other way, maybe wash the wake on the other side. But with the balance that's built into this running surface with those triangular pads on the rear corners of the boat, you don't have that. You've got balanced ride for a great surf wave, a wonderful wakeboard wake, and an amazing rough water ride, which is very different about a Centurion boat. Now that we're talking about performance, let's talk about how we make a surf wave on an FI-23, it's with the optional quick surf system. Now this system needs some ballast displacement to work. What I mean by that is we've got an available 5,250 pounds of ballast in a 2024 FI-23. We fill that up, we displace this hole, we sink it deeper into the water, and with that running surface, we then displace a mass of water behind the boat. But we need quick surf to actually make the wave from side to side. The plates themselves are essentially trim tabs on the rear corners of the boat. The tab that's opposite the surf side, opposite the curl will go down and it creates lift. Then it displaces or disproportionately displaces the surf side or that surf rear corner of the boat that's what makes the curl, that's what makes the wave. But you've got to have all three of those systems for Centurion working in conjunction with one another. We need the ballast displacement. We need that running surface, that Opta V hull, that modified deep V with the balance built in. And we need quick surf to make that wave. And we can actually switch that wave from side to side in about two seconds. That's how it works. So, as we get a little lower here under the swim step, you start to see a bunch of stuff going on. And what this is, is the Silent Stinger. This is an optional wake plate that we offer. We call it the Silent Stinger because it is a, a variation of the Stinger wake plate, which means that it changes the running attitude of the boat. When the plate goes down, it actually makes the nose of the boat go down and the boat starts to run through the water more level. As the plate comes up, it allows the back of the boat to go down and the bow to come up and it makes the boat uh, displace more water at the back. However, this being a silent stinger does a little bit more than that. So this is essentially uh, a baffler for the noise. This takes down the engine noise. So what it does is it takes the exhaust from the engine, it tumbles it through a series of baffles that are built into this plate, and there is at the same time water being forced in to that same cavity. And what it does is it dampens the noise of the engine. So it acts kind of like a muffler and it really takes the engine noise down, especially on the interior of the boat. So much so, sometimes you have to really check whether or not that engine is running because it's so quiet. But it makes it so you can have a normal conversation at a normal volume level all day, every day on the interior of the boat. That's what makes this Silent Stinger so great. So as I get up onto this beautiful swim step attached to this beautiful 2024 Centurion FI-23, I start to realize I need a place for my shoes. And uh, we have this new one piece trunk lid this year, allows me to store my shoes away. And it's got some really cushy, comfy seats as well. So I can take a seat. And back here at the back of the FI-23, it's really a hangout station is what it is. I've got an optional stereo remote here so I can control the tunes. I've got another storage area here where I can put someone else's shoes or other little things that need to go in storage that you don't want rolling around in some of our big storage areas. Uh, I've also got room for a friend. Uh, so there's a lot to be grateful for about the back of an FI-23 because it's comfortable, I can entertain, and looks pretty cool too. So as I take a seat on the back of the FI-23, if I want to get really comfortable, I can flip up this optional lean back. Oh, I can get it just the right spot. And then super comfortable, super relaxing. And when I'm ready to take my next ride, I can put it back down. It's just that easy. So as we actually step into the FI-23, you start to understand really how big this boat is. I mean, we were walking on the outside of it and uh, it took a while for us to get from one end to the other from the bow to the stern. But now that we get on the inside of the boat, this is a 23 foot boat, but it feels much bigger for a couple reasons. It's got great depth. 
we call it freeboard and it's really the height of the boat but where you really start to understand it is when you're sitting down in the boat the lean backs come up to a nice spot on your back which means you're sitting down into the boat but you can still see the water from a seated position which is great about the fi interior it's a sleek look on the outside you're still sitting down in the boat on the inside but i don't ever lose sight of the water around me it's not that tall but it's got a lot of room a lot of accommodation and you're really going to appreciate some of the next features that we point out in it so some of the best features about the interior of an fi-23 is really the way it's made and what I mean is the materials that we use. So the vinyl that we use to cover the seats, and they're all built here at the factory in Merced, California, is called Spradling Vinyl. It has a 17 mil top coat. We call this particular vinyl, which is exclusive to Centurion, it's called Comfort Strong. And what it does is just what it says. It is extremely strong and it comforts you as well. But it's got a 17 mil top coat, which adds to that strength. And what that means is it's gonna guard against abrasions. It's gonna guard against harsh cleaning chemicals, discoloring it or taking any of the sheen off of the vinyl. This particular vinyl also has a texture to it. We call it the hex texture. This is an all hex upholstery scheme. And what that gives you is a really cool look because you can see the texture here, but it also allows the even the darker colored upholstery or darker colored vinyl to dissipate heat faster because there's more surface area with this texture. So it allows it to be cooler even though it's a darker color. All of this vinyl is sewn together with Gore Tenera thread and yep, it's made by Gore-Tex. So it's also really, really strong, but it's beautiful in the way that it's sewn together. And you have seven different color choices for this thread. So you can have black stitching like you see here on this interior. You can choose white, you can do a blue. It's totally up to you. And it's another custom option that Centurion offers on the interior. You've also got great coverage for storage in this boat. So not only does the seating look beautiful, feel beautiful, it stores a lot of stuff. So you can bring 14 people, which this boat is at capacity with, but with all of their stuff and it's put away, out of sight, out of mind, nobody's tripping on it, there you go. So you may have noticed that we not only have this mist blue hex vinyl in this particular FI-23, but there's some other blue going on in here, namely the lighting. So what we have in this boat as an option is RGBW lighting. I set it to blue because I like everything to go together, but really it, it can be any one of the colors in the whole spectrum and uh, you can match it to anything you want, uh, red, white, blue. But what you'll see here is you've got light rings around the speakers. You've also got interior limo lighting that's optional in this boat and all of it can be controlled by rgbw controls at the dash through the screen in fact it's really easy to do and i can even do multicolor if i want to i can change one zone or one area to red and another one to blue and another one to white and i can use that on the fourth of july but really it's up to you you can customize the lighting on an fi-23 just as much as you can customize the colors so as big as the FI-23 interior is, you want the seating to be versatile. What I mean is you want it to work with whomever you have as passengers in the boat. And the FI-23 allows that to happen. We have an optional flip up stadium seating lean back here. So I can actually sit with my back up against that and see the rider in tow. I've also got a slide seat, and this is a three position slide seat. So this is the first position, which is as if this is a big lounge, as it is. I can move it forward one, I can uh, get optional lean backs to plug in, and I can face backwards on the slide seat in the center of the boat, as well as I can push it all the way forward, put the lean backs on the other side so that I'm facing with the driver, and I can make a little lounge up front with the observer seat and the driver's seat especially if it's cold out, you've got the wind block in and the windshield closed and the heater on, you kind of want to all gather in that area of the boat that's going to keep you the warmest. You can do that with the slide seat and those optional lean backs as well. So there's a lot of functionality, versatility built into the interior of an FI-23. It's really whatever you want it to be and however you want to use it on any given day on the water. 
So one thing I almost forgot about mentioning is another customizable area of the boat, which is the flooring. This is non-skid flooring made by Gator Step. And you have the choice with a Centurion FI-23 to choose between several different schemes as well as different layers and different colors on each layer. This happens to be a three layer fearless cut. That is the name of the scheme. And we have three different layers of Gator Step and I can color them different ways. So I have 15 different color choices on each layer. In this particular situation, I have the black on the top layer, the middle layer is called silver cloud, and the bottom layer that's right up against the fiberglass of the floor is uh, shark fin. So this gives a look that we wanted for this particular boat to match the upholstery. It looks amazing. I love the design and the cut of this particular scheme, but it also feels great on your feet. Even in direct sun, this black, because of the texture that's scraped into it, doesn't get hot. It's comfortable to stand on, even for long periods of time, and uh, you've really got to experience the three-layer gator step floor in the fearless cut in an FI. The standard tower on an FI-23 is called the Battle Advance Tower, and it's made by Roswell. And as you can see, we've got a black one mounted on this particular FI-23. The custom element of this tower comes in the form of the tower shields, or these big gel-coated fiberglass pieces in the middle of the tower. These can be color matched to any one of your 37 different gel coat colors available from Centurion. This one, Mist Blue Metal Flake. And I gotta say, I love this color. It looks awesome on this tower. But the Battle Advance Tower is made to go with the look of an FI. You can see with the rake that it has, the design that it has, it's really stylish and really looks like it goes with the boat because that's what it was made for. It's also a very strong tower. This tower doesn't rattle when you're going down the lake on a rough day. It doesn't even sway back and forth when you're pulling it on a trailer behind your truck. It's very sturdy. And that's all because of a cam latch design that's patented by Roswell. What that does is it pulls the hoop of the tower down onto its base, locks it in place. But when you wanna fold this tower down to get into a garage or um, just because you want the tower to be down, you can actually unlock this tower and you have to pull it down. It won't fall and you can pull it down, even I can, with all of these accessories mounted on it. It could be a very heavy tower, but there's a contraption built into this foot on either side that allows it to come down very, very smooth and easily, even if someone like me is trying to fold it. So we've talked about the look of the tower. We talked about how strong it is. What can it handle? What can it accept as far as accessories? Well, let's talk about that now. So on this particular tower, we have a couple really cool options that are available. One is this Bombshell 2.0 rack. This rack, not only is it extremely cool to look at, it comforts and caresses your surfboard like no other. So this rack can accept as wide as a 23 inch surfboard. What that means is a surfboard fits in here and there are no pressure points. You're not gonna dent it. It's gonna be safe, but out of the way. And I can stow it from inside the boat here. And then I just pick up this latch. If I'm towing, or in other words, if the boat is on the trailer behind my truck, I always put the racks back like this. The boards wouldn't be in it at that time, but this keeps um, the bugs from getting all over the racks. But if I have my board in it, I could swing it back out and then the board is out of the way. I don't have to worry about tripping over it, but this rack, not only does it function well, it's beautiful to look at, and oh, by the way, you can get it in 18 different colors. Imagine that. You may have noticed that this particular FI-23 has an upgraded stereo system. This is the CHAMP system by Wet Sounds. It gives you two speakers in the tower, two quite large <laughs> horns from Wet Sounds. They are actually 10 inch horns. And this enclosure that's built with them is exclusive to Centurion. This allows the sound to project back to the rider but that's only the tower. We also have RGB lighting built into these tower speakers 
and the interior speakers down below. You've got eight inch wet sounds interior speakers throughout the FI interior as a part of this package. I also have a brand new stereo head unit that goes with this system, as well as an optional remote with a simple volume knob at the driver. That gives you the ability to change the sound up down really easily, especially when you're coming back around to pick up a rider and you want to make sure you can hear anything they have to say to you. This stereo system is amazing. It performs like a champ. After all, that's what it's called. So one of the things I wanted to share with you are some standard features that are new for 2024 in all Centurion boats, but we happen to be in an FI, so let's check it out. They're right here in the glove box. So not only do you have this cool looking lit glove box, you also have access to some really neat features for this year. One of which is a battery management system. What this is, is it's a replacement for that uh, isolator switch. It's like a red switch that um, round that used to be in the OB. So now it's more easily accessible to turn on and off your batteries to power either the, we call it the house, uh, which is the interior lights, the stereo, or the battery you use to actually start the boat with the engine. So from here, all we have to do, right now nothing is on, so there's nothing drawing on the battery, drawing any energy from the battery. But what I wanna do is I wanna turn the screen on the boat on, I also wanna turn on the interior lights, and I wanna be able to play the stereo. So I'm gonna turn this house side on. Um, when I want to turn it off, I just have to slide this and I can turn it off. But we're going to turn it on so that I can power the dash. And it's as easy as that. And right now, the other battery, the second battery that comes standard in a Centurion, is saved for the engine. So if I'm out in a cove just floating and I want to have my lights on or be playing my stereo, I can just use my house battery. Then when I'm ready to go back to the dock, I can have my engine battery all ready to go, completely powered up, so I have enough energy to get back to the dock. And it's really simple. The other piece of this battery management system is um, this PDM. PDM side really allows us to, it's kind of like circuit breakers, so I can turn on and off or check my PDMs and make sure that nothing has tripped kind of like um, a fuse box in your house. And a lot of times these PDMs are spread out throughout the boat. And if you've got a problem out on the water, that's one of the first things a service tech will have you check is, hey, have the breakers to your PDMs flipped? Um, is there something happening with the boat that you need to do that? Well, you need to be able to check that easily. So what we've done is we've built it into this management system so you can easily check your PDMs. You can um, turn them on and off or actually flip these breakers from here. And you've got access to all four that are in the boat. This particular part of the boat may seem simple and maybe out of sight, out of mind at a lot of times, but it has really made the operation of the boat more efficient and much more easy to access. Another new feature in all Centurions for 2024 is a new wet sound stereo. This is what they call a black box stereo system. The model is called Backbone, uh, the Backbone ecosystem from wet sounds. But what it allows you to have is a black box or a brain for the stereo that's mounted underneath the dash, out of sight. You don't really need to be able to access that brain piece of it, but you have this face that controls the stereo itself. So the face is located in the glove box and it's got a volume knob as well as a touch screen. I can Bluetooth my phone to it from here. I can change and control what's playing, what I wanna pause uh, from here, as well as there's an optional remote that goes at the dash and there's another optional remote at the transom of the boat. So from three different locations, you can control this new stereo system. But I wanted to make sure to show you where it is in the dash. We talked about versatile seating in the FI-23 earlier. It is extremely versatile. One of those pieces of versatility is a driver's seat. It swivels around so that you can communicate and hang out with the rest of the lounge when you're not underway, but it allows for the driver to participate uh, in those conversations very easily and comfortably. The driver's seat also has a really high back, 
very supportive. This happens to be an optional driver's seat. We call this the Cobra racing seat. Um, it's a high back seat, kind of similar to what you'd find in a race car. But what I really like about this seat is if I don't want to swivel, or maybe I don't want to swivel all the way around, I can throw a leg over the side. I can be as comfortable as possible, as quickly as possible. It also is really cool to look at and you can customize it just like the rest of the upholstery in the boat. The other thing it allows me to do when I swivel around is swivel to this ice chest that's built into the floor. This particular ice chest can have ice and drinks put right in it, um, or you can put another smaller soft-sided ice chest inside of it, or you can use it for dry storage. Either way, this enclosure is obviously out of the way, but still easily accessible, and it can really store what you want it to. So as I turn back around to face, oh, the driver's area, which I'll say is one of my favorite places in the boat, <laughs> mainly because I have all the control <laughs> and that really is what's most important to me. But when I'm facing the dash like this, I can see everything. So we call this the pano dash and mainly because it's a panoramic view. I've got these long slender screens, but they tell me everything I need to know about the boat. I have quick access to everything. I also love the steering wheel in the FI. I love it because it's not traditional. It doesn't, it's not a big round wheel that can interfere with my view of my touchscreens, which is pretty important. I want to know what my fuel levels are. I want to know um, what the water temp is, what, you know, the oil pressure is. I want to be able to see all that at any given time. And this steering wheel allows me to do that. And it still gives me great control over the boat itself. I also have really quick control with my sport shifters of my stinger wake plate and my set speed, my zero off for cruise control. And all I have to do is pull up with a couple fingers. I never have to take my eyes off the water or off my screens if I'm focusing on that. And I can bring my stinger wake plate up, which will allow the bow of my boat to come up or I can put my stinger wake plate down, which gets the nose of my boat down. And I can do all that without having to focus on where my fingers have to go to make those adjustments. I can also do that with my set speed on my zero off. So if I have my cruise control or my zero off speed control on, I can increment the speed of the boat just by pulling my sport shifter, the one on top to me, which makes the speed increment and go up and I can pull the bottom one to me and that makes the speed go down. It's very easy to do. I, like I said, I don't have to take my eyes off the water or off my dash to do any of that. I've also got really quick access to my phone with this optional wireless clamping phone holder. I love this phone holder, mainly because I can put my phone in with one hand. It clamps, it's extremely secure, and it's charging even with the case on. I don't have to worry about my phone at all. For 2024, I also have access to an optional driver side stereo remote. And this stereo remote gives me buttons, you know, to go to the next song, to pause or play, to repeat, to change zones, a lot of different functionality. But probably the best thing about it, in my opinion, is the volume knob. It sounds kind of silly, but right in the center of this driver's remote is a knob where I can turn up and down the sound of my stereo. Now, you may think that that's kind of old school, which I am, but at the same time, anytime you're driving a boat, you're pulling a rider, they fall, you're going back around to get them, you want to be able to quickly turn the stereo down so I can hear them. I can understand if they're having a problem or they need something specific. Uh, that's really important to me when I'm in control driving the boat. And I love how much control I have at just, you know, a finger tip away in the FI-23. So we talked a little bit about storage earlier and that there's a ton of it in the FI-23. There's enough storage for 14 people and all their stuff and for it to be put away. One of the best storage areas and the biggest for that matter is behind the observer seat right here. So I can lift up this lean back, I've got all of that storage. It's essentially this whole enclosure that's under the glove box is available to store my stuff. And I like that because I can put a ton of life vests in there. I can put towels in there. It's going to stay dry. Um, I really like that storage area. But the other thing I put in that storage area is trash. Yeah, you heard me. I put trash in there, but this is how I do it. It's a fun, cool way to do it through the new trash chute. 
that's located in the walkthrough of the FIs. And so I can throw trash in here. It'll go down to the trash receptacle that's underneath and um, then close that door and it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't have to worry about it. And after all, I am a mom. The trash can is a very important part of my boat. So when we talk about an FI-23 having a walk-through open bow, this is what we mean. You can walk straight through to the bow. <laughs> and there's nothing you have to step over. Uh, typically, you would walk through to kind of a lounge in the bow, but we've got this optional filler cushion in, so it actually makes the bow a playpen style. Very comfortable. You've got room for a couple people up here, and you're not in each other's space. You've got a great smooth rough water ride even in the bow I promise that's why it's still one of my favorite places because you don't get jarred to death up here you've also got access to a ton of cool stuff I have cup holders I have powerpoints I have two um, regular USB powerpoints here in a couple other areas of the FI 23 I have combo powerpoints where I have a USB and a USB C power outlet so you can plug in any device at any time no matter what type of power it takes i also have speakers sound up here i can hear every tune that's played i've also got a handle to grab onto in case you know the driver gets a little squirrely but you've got every comfort you need up here for any kind of day on the water so that's about all we have for the all new 2024 centurion fi 23 but don't take my word for how fearlessly innovated this particular Centurion is. Go and visit your local dealer and find out for yourself. Let us prove it to you.